It feels like a morning to be really kind to ourselves. So let's just take it really easy, nice, gentle, patient, finding a nice, comfortable, seated position, allowing the eyes to softly shut. And go ahead and allow the breath to start to come a little longer. Inhaling in for three, two, one. Exhale out, three, two, one. Keep this same long inhale and long exhale and start to check in with the body. Noticing what spots in the body are grabbing your attention and on the inhale, see if you can breathe into that spot. And on the exhale, see if you can feel it release. Just noticing what's going on with the thoughts, what's going on with the body. Notice any spots of pressure or resistance. Take a deep inhale in. Long exhale out. Inhale in, reach the crown of the head a little higher. Tuck the chin, go long through the spine. Exhale, keep that length, but let your shoulders, knees, and hips relax a little more. Inhaling in deeply, let your belly fill up, spill out. Slowly exhale out, push your belly button back towards your spine. Take a huge inhale in. Hold the breath at the top. Notice any tension in the, in the body, any tension in the mind and the thoughts. And then open the mouth and let it out. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. Hold the breath at the top. Open the mouth, let it out. Deep inhale in through the nose. Hold the breath. Open the mouth, let it out. Long inhale in through the nose. Slow exhale out the nose. Inhale the arms out and up. Down to your knees, you can turn the palms up if you would like to receive, turn the palms down if you would like to conserve. Still reaching long through the spine, maybe changing the crossing of your legs if you would like to even out the body. Take a deep inhale in through the nose, reach the crown of the head a little higher. Slowly exhale out the nose. Take a deep inhale in for three, two, one. Hold at the top, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slow exhale out, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Huge inhale in. Three, two, one. Hold softly. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale slowly. Five, four, three, two, one. One more time. Huge inhale in. Hold at the top. Seven, six, five, hold softly, slowly exhale it all out. Hold empty for a moment, and then take a huge inhale into the nose. Slow exhale out the nose. Deep inhale in. Long exhale out. Bring your right hand up. Bring your index finger and middle finger down towards your palm. Take your right thumb to the right nostril. And then take a deep inhale in through the left. Use your ring finger to close. Hold at the top. 
and then release your thumb, exhale out. Take a deep inhale in. Hold with the thumb. And then release the ring finger, exhale out. Alternate nostril breathing. Take a deep inhale in. Close with the ring finger. And then release the thumb, exhale it out. Deep inhale in. Hold with the thumb. Release the ring finger, exhale out. One more time, inhale in. Hold with the ring finger. Release the thumb, exhale out. Deep inhale in. Hold with the thumb. Open the ring. Exhale it out. Release that hand down. Hold on to your shins. If you'd like, you can change the crossing of your legs again back to your more comfortable side. And then take an inhale in. Spill the belly out. Shine the heart up. Roll the shoulders back. And exhale, pulling against your shins and the center of your back far back behind you. Inhale, rolling forward. Roll the shoulders back. Spill the belly out. Exhale, rolling back. Inhale, rolling forward. Exhale, rolling back. Inhale, rolling forward one more time. This time as you exhale, pick a direction, roll the body. Inhaling all the way forward, exhaling all the way back. Warming up the breath, warming up the spine. And the body heads toward the right side, push down on that left thigh. And when it heads toward the left, push down on the right. There's no wrong way to do this, just exploring the body, exploring the breath and the spine. And then as you're ready, take it in the opposite direction. Still inhaling forward, exhaling back. Notice if there are any thoughts still holding on, any spots in the body still holding on. See if on each exhale you can find something to release and relax. Start to let the circles get smaller. The breath get a little quicker. Start to reach the crown of the head a little higher, like you're swinging the crown of your head from a point up above you. Let the circles get so small that they're almost imperceptible, reaching the crown of the head high. Allow yourself to come to stillness. Take an inhale in, hold the breath at the top. Sip in a little more air in through the mouth. And then open the mouth, exhale it out. Walk your hands out in front of you. Release out onto the earth. And then walk over to the right side. You'd be placing those left fingers on top of the right. And keeping the right forearm down, reach the left fingers up into the sky.
Then releasing that hand back down, staying low, walking all the way back through center. Over to the other side. I'm trying to keep that left forearm down, reach the right fingers up. Still finding those long inhales and long exhales. And releasing that hand back down, walking back through center. Roll up one vertebra at a time. Allow your feet to come out in front of you. You rub your hamstrings a little down through your calves. You pull the flesh away from your sit bones. Inhale the arms out and up. Exhale, lead with the heart, head down towards your toes. Grab onto your shins, toes, bottoms of your feet, whatever's comfortable. So toward the beginning of our practice, so don't try to push yourself to your most extreme right now. Whenever you have your hands, Really grab on, flex your toes back towards you, and then inhale, shine the heart up. Try and roll the shoulders back, spill the belly forward, and then exhale, rounding down. Feel the spine lengthen. Inhale, shine the heart up. Roll the shoulders back, pull wherever you can with your hands, and then exhale, rounding down. Inhale, coming up, pull against your legs, your toes, your feet, wherever you can. And exhale, rounding down. Inhale, coming up. Pull the shoulders back. Exhale, round. Inhale up. And exhale, round. This time as you inhale, slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Bring your knees up into your chest, float your toes, find that little balance between your tailbone and your sit bones. Roll the shoulders back. Notice if you're collapsing at all into the low back. Very nice, crown of the head long. And then bring the hands under your knees. Flex, point the toes. Work out any kinks. Maybe even rolling the ankles gently. Same deep breaths. Notice if you start to collapse, roll the shoulders back. And then point the toes, release the hands. Same deep breath. Very nice. Hands together. Straighten your legs as much as you would like. Take an inhale in. Exhale the hands over to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale left. Inhale center. Exhale right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, coming back to center. Take a few deep breaths. You can get a little longer. Shine the heart up. And then slowly float the toes back in. Hug the knees into your chest. Grab on to the left ankle with the right hand. So you can place it down, place that right foot down on the outside of the left thigh. And then place the left hand back behind you. Grab on to the left foot with the right hand. Take an inhale in. Open up down through that left hip so you can sink the right sit bone down. Take an inhale in. Exhale and unwind. Place the right hand down behind you. Left hand over that right thigh. Take an inhale in. 
And exhale, unwind, left hand back behind you. Use that right hand on that left foot. Inhale in. And exhale, release. Place the right hand back. Left elbow on that right thigh. Push down with that right hand. Take a few deep breaths. Crown of the head a little higher. Notice if you're collapsing into the low back, just like we were in boat. Try and get the heart higher. Long inhales and long exhales. Take one more inhale in. Exhale, unwind. Keep that unwind going all the way around, back behind you. Come up to Pazurita Padottanasana, wide-legged forward fold, so your feet might be on the outsides of your mat. And take just a moment. Interlace the hands behind your back. Let the pinkies get a little closer down to the earth. Release the crown of the head. And then start to let the hands fall toward the left, opening up through that right shoulder, trying to get your nose toward your right knee. And then let the hands fall to the right, trying to get your nose toward that left knee, opening up through the left shoulder. And then coming back through center, take a deep breath in. And exhale, release the hands down toward the earth. Walk over towards your left toes. Come up to the balls of the feet. To keep that rotation going all the way around, back behind you. Sit down in between your feet. Take that right hand back behind you, left hand to that left foot. Take an inhale in. Try and sink the left sit bone. Exhale, unwind, left hand back behind you. Inhale in, and exhale, unwind. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, unwind. Take a deep inhale in, a few deep breaths, really using that right elbow and that left thigh, really pressing down with that whole left hand. In noticing if you're collapsing into the low back, Reach the crown of the head a little higher. See if you can tuck your chin. Deep breaths. Very nice. Take one more inhale in. Exhale, unwind. Keep that unwind going all the way around, back behind you. This time, place your hands down. Step back to plank. Take an inhale in and plank. Exhale down, float, chaturanga. Elbows in, just an inch up off the earth. Inhale through and up, your back bend of choice. Roll the shoulders back. Maybe straighten the arms. Exhale, tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. Inhale, rolling forward to plank. Exhale, floating down, chaturanga. Inhale, through and up. Maybe a nice cobra. And exhale, tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, rolling forward. Exhale, floating down. Inhale through and up. Press down through the tips of the fingers. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale that right heel up. Exhale, bring it forward and through. Place it down near the right hand. Be sure that the right knee, right heel is right under the right knee and lined up with that right hip. Place the left knee down. Untuck the toes. Really pushing down with the top of that left foot. You can walk the right toes a little farther forward than usual. Maybe slightly out to the right side to firm your base. And then take an inhale in, shine the heart up, roll the shoulders back. 
And exhale, pull that right hip back, flex the right toes, crown of the head down, straighten that right leg. Then inhale, rolling forward. Exhale, rolling back. Inhale, rolling forward. And exhale, roll all the way back. Sit down on the inside of the left heel. Bring that left foot all the way around to the inside of the right hip. You can pull that right heel a little far farther forward to create a little space in your hip. And then take an inhale in, reach the fingers up. And exhale, lead with the heart, head down towards your toes. And then the same way we did in our forward fold, grab on somewhere on that leg. And then inhale, shine the heart up, roll the shoulders back. And exhale, round down, pull against that leg, those toes. Inhale deep, shine the heart up. And exhale and round. Be kind and patient, nice to yourself. Inhale, shine the heart up. Exhale, rounding down. Inhale, shine the heart up one more time. And exhale, round. This time as you inhale, roll up one vertebra at a time. Place the left hand down behind you, spread those fingers, right hand on the outside of the left thigh, really flex the right toes, push down with the left hand, press through those fingers, gaze out over the right, the left shoulder, same deep breaths. Reach that right heel a little farther forward. And then take the weight out of the left hand, reach it up and over your ear. Maybe just staying here, feeling long through that left side, or reaching down toward the right toes. But notice if you can still open your heart, feel long through those left fingers, same deep breaths, deep inhales, long exhales. Use those left fingers to lift you back up. Inhale in, exhale, place the left hand down toward the front of your mat, right hand down, tuck the right toes, and inhale that left heel up, exhale, bring it forward and through, place it down near the left hand, place that right knee down and tuck the toes, take the left heel a little farther forward, maybe slightly out to the left side. Pushing down with the top of the right foot. Inhale, shine the heart up, sink the hips. And exhale, rolling back, flex the left toes, crown of the head down. Inhale, rolling forward. And exhale, rolling back. Inhale, rolling forward. Down with the top of that right foot, sink the hips. Exhale, rolling all the way back. Right foot around the inside of that left thigh. You can walk that left heel a little farther forward, create a little space in that hip. Same way we did before, inhale the arms up. Exhale, lead with the heart. Grab on wherever you can. And then inhale, shine the heart up, roll the shoulders back, pull against that leg. Exhale and round. Inhale, coming up. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, round. Inhale, deeply reaching, pulling those left toes back, pulling against that leg. Exhale, and down. Inhale up. Exhale, release. This time, inhale, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Place that right hand back behind you, left hand to the outside of the right thigh. Keep flexing those left toes. Pressing down with that whole right hand, roll the shoulder back, long through the crown of the head. Same deep breaths.
Walk that left heel just a little farther forward. And then inhale the right fingers up and over. Going long through that right side of the body. Maybe reaching down toward the toes or maybe just reaching long. Same deep breaths. Long inhales, long exhales. On your next inhale, let those right fingers lift you up. Back behind you, place that right hand down, place the left hand down. Tuck the left toes, inhale that right heel all the way up. This time point the toe, let it fall over to the side, stacking that hip on top of the left. You can sink your heart toward your left toes. And then inhale, straighten that heel out. Exhale, bring it forward and through, place it down in between your hands. Place the left heel down, parallel the right foot next to the left, and come in between your feet. Nice wide legged forward fold. I'm just reaching the crown of the head down. You can place your hands down if you have a sheer sasana practice. You may like to place the crown of the head down. Maybe just bringing the knees to your elbows. Maybe your toes up into the sky. Otherwise, just keep releasing down, feeling long through the spine. And then as you're ready, make your way over to those left toes. Turn the left toes out. Come into your lunge. Inhale the left heel up and back. Point the toe. Let it fall over to the side. Stacking that left hip on top of the right. Sink your heart toward those right toes. Inhale, straighten that left heel out. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Place that left foot down near the right. You can bend one knee and then the other, really pressing down through the tips of the fingers, sinking your heart towards your toes, but pull your ribs in. Release the heels down toward the earth. Inhale forward to plank. And then exhale all the way down to your mat. You can make a little pillow with your hands. Turn one cheek down. Take a few deep breaths. Just being really nice and kind and patient with yourself. Feeling your diaphragm pushing down into the earth. And then reach the right arm out to the right side, so that way your hand is in line with your shoulder. Press down with that whole right palm, so that your right forearm comes slightly up off the earth. Left hand under that left shoulder. Bend into the left knee. Send the left heel up and over. Opening up through that right hip, that right shoulder as well as keeping it active. Maybe reaching those left fingers up and back. Stopping anywhere along the way. So you can still find those deep breaths. Long inhales, long exhales. And slowly coming back through center. Left hand out to the left side, right hand under that right shoulder. Press down with that whole left palm, bend that right knee, send it up and over. Maybe the left fingers, the right fingers up and back. Notice if that left hand is still active. If you're still finding your same deep breaths. And slowly coming back through center. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. Press down through your palms. Roll the shoulders back. Spill the low ribs out. A few deep breaths.
and then bend into the left knee, reach back with the left hand, grab onto that foot, pulling it in toward your glute. Notice if that left knee starts to come out to the left side, see if you can pull it back in. And then notice if that left hip starts coming up off the earth, see if you can ground it back down. And try and get that right shoulder a little farther away from your ear. Same deep breaths. And gently release that side. Place the left elbow back down. Bend into the right knee. Reach back for that right foot. Noticing if that right knee comes out of alignment. Notice if the right hip comes up off the earth. See if you can press down to the tips of the left fingers. That left shoulder down away from the left ear. Same deep breaths. And release those toes. And then keeping your chest floating as much as you can, push down with the tops of your feet, interlace the hands behind the back, palms together, lift the wrists up off your sit bones, and keep the big toes together, long to the legs, heels up into the sky, long inhales, long exhales. And then release all the way back to child's pose. Knees nice and wide. Big toes together. Release the low back. Reaching long through the fingertips. Rock the hips slightly from side to side. Maybe making little circles on the ground with your forehead. And then inhale, coming up to tabletop. Really spreading the fingers, knees slightly behind your hips. Push down the tops of the feet. Even spread the toes. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. And exhale, reverse. Inhale in. And exhale, reverse. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale it out. Inhale, coming back to neutral. Keep those long inhales and long exhales going as you take the right toes out to the right side. Reach the left foot back behind you. Place the left heel down. Reach the left fingers up. Notice if the right hand is under the right shoulder and the right knee is under the right hip. Maybe reach the left arm up and over your ear to feel long to the left side of the body. Staying here, maybe lifting those left toes up off the earth to engage and lengthen through the left obliques. And just listening to your body, listening to your breath. And then slowly coming back through center. Reach that left heel right back behind you. Right arm out in front of you. Spread the right finger, spread the left toes, spread the left fingers, press them down to the earth. You can stay here, maybe reach back with the right hand for the left ankle, kick into that hand, open the right shoulder. Same deep breath. 
spreading the whole left hand, pushing it down into the earth. Inhale, lengthen back out, reach. And as you exhale, turn the right fingertips in, place the left knee down. Reach the left hand through. Twisting and opening up, pressing down with that left hand, maybe reaching that right arm up and back for the inside of the left thigh. Letting the left shoulder come down away from the left ear to feel long through the spine. And then take one more inhale in. Exhale, unwind. Coming back through center. Turn the left toes out. Reach the right foot back, place that heel down, right fingertips up, and over that ear. Maybe lifting the right toes. Same deep breath. Gently coming back through center. You can keep reaching that right heel back behind you. And then the left fingertips out in front. Same deep breaths. Staying here, reaching that left hand back. Kick into that hand. Long inhales, long exhales. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, place it down. Turn the left fingers in. Reach the right arm through. Maybe the left fingers up and back. Long through the spine. Being kind and patient with yourself. Same deep breaths, bringing out any thoughts or worries, putting up especially that space behind your heart. And slowly unwind, coming back to tabletop. You can either head right back to child's pose or tuck the toes, head down through vinyasa, inhale coming forward, exhale floating down, inhale through and up, and exhale back, child pose, a few deep breaths. Take a deep inhale in through the nose, open the mouth, exhale it out. Deep inhale in through the nose. Open the mouth, let it out. So nice to be able to take this time to be kind to our body. Kind and patient with ourselves. So often get so caught up in progress and where we're going. We forget sometimes that these basics are so good for our body, our mind, our breath. We can just take the time to be nice. To enjoy the fruits of our labors. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale, coming forward to tabletop. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, coming up to the balls of the feet, turn the gaze forward, walk to the front of your mat. Feet hip distance apart, let your big toes be a little closer than your heels. Push out on your heels so you're slightly internally rotating from your hips. Clasp opposite elbow, shake the head yes and no, release it, let it be long. Long through the torso. And then bring the hands to your shins, inhale, coming halfway up. And exhale, release, pulling against the backs of your legs. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, a little deeper. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, release. Releasing, feeling heavy. Our head is 10% of our body weight. We carry it around all the time. Use it to your advantage right now to feel long. Putting a little bend in your knees, release the hands. Inhale, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Letting the head be the very last thing that comes up. Bring your hands to heart center. Close the eyes, roll the shoulders back, reach the crown of the head high, tuck the pelvis slightly forward, push down with the outsides of your feet to engage through the outsides of your legs, to create a little space in your pelvis. Pull the chin back, reach your sternum up towards your chin. Crown of the head a little higher. Keeping all this length on your next inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, lead with the heart, head down to your toes. Inhale, coming halfway up, hands to your shin. Exhale, releasing down. Put a little bend in your knees, inhale, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Bring the hands to heart center, exhale it out. Inhale the arms out and up, feel long. Exhale, lead with the heart down to the toes. Inhale, coming halfway up. Exhale, releasing down. Inhale, rolling up one vertebra at a time, little bend in the knees. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale the arms out and up. Exhale, lead with the heart. Inhale, coming halfway up. Exhale, releasing down. This time, heel toe your feet out to the edges of your mat. Turn your toes out. Let your hips come down. Bring your elbows right in towards your knees, hands to heart center. If you can't keep your heels on the earth, you can take your stance just a little wider. Maybe rocking lightly from side to side, releasing the hips. And then inhale, reach the arms out and up, straighten the legs. Exhale, coming all the way down through center. Keep the pelvis tucked underneath you, heart up, inhale, out and up. Exhale, down to center. Inhale up. Exhale down. A few breaths, reach the heart up. And then place your sit bones down. Bring your knees up into your chest. And place the feet down. Place the hands down, back behind you. And then come down to your forearms. Cross that left, right ankle over the left. Really trying to flex the right toes and the right knee out and away from you. And then maybe coming up towards your hands. Keep those right toes nice and flexed. And then the closer you get your hands and that sit bone toward that heel, 
the closer you can get those right toes toward your left shoulder, and then see if you can take any round out of the spine, roll the shoulders back, keep those right toes nice and flexed, opening up through the right hip, same deep breaths. And then close the eyes, the crown of the head, get a little longer. Let that right hip release. Maybe walking the hands in one millimeter at a time as you breathe. Rolling the shoulders back, shine the heart up. And then slowly releasing back to your forearms. Uncross that leg, cross the left ankle over the right, really flex those left toes. Maybe just staying here, trying to open that left knee. Maybe coming up toward your hands, really flexing those left toes. Sit bone toward that right heel, and the closer you get your hands in toward you, the more you'll open up through that left hip, trying to get your left toes toward your right shoulder. Take any round out of the spine, roll the shoulders back, crown of the head high, deep breaths. Slowly releasing back to your forearms. Release that left foot. Place your hands down toward your hips. Release your feet out in front of you like you're relaxing at the beach. You can let your toes fall out to the side. Release your shoulders and allow your head to fall back. And stay here relaxing or if you would like. You can start to pull your sit bones towards your elbows and let your belly button get higher up into the sky, creating a little more of a back bend through the low back. Same deep breath. And then slowly release all the way down to the earth. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall out to the side. Right hand to your heart, left hand to your diaphragm. See if you can feel your heartbeat with the right hand and your breath with the left. Feel that kindness and patience for yourself spreading from your hands through your body. With every breath, allow that sense of healing. Feel the body releasing and relaxing. And using your hands on the outsides of your thighs, pull your knees back together. Let your heels get close into your sit bones. And lift your toes just an inch up off the earth. 
if you can, reach around the inside of your thigh to the inside of your thighs from the outside, like you're grabbing onto the hamstrings underneath your legs. Otherwise, just place your hands on your hamstrings right below your knees. And then start to pull your knees away from each other with your hands. And then use the strength of your legs to pull your knees back together. And then see if you can push each and every one of your vertebra back down into the mat. And you can stay here or start to straighten the legs, flex the toes, reaching them up into the sky. Now the more that you pull your legs apart, the more you'll have to engage through your hips, hamstrings, low back, core, to keep each and every vertebra down on the mat. And slowly release, but keep your toes just an inch up off the earth. Place your hands on your thighs. Start to push your thighs away from you. But then engage your core. Keep each and every vertebra pushing down into the mat. Like you're trying to lengthen through your entire low back by engaging your core. Same deep breath. As your vertebra come up off the mat, push them back down. And then release down to the earth. Push the heels down, lift the hips up. You can interlace your hands underneath you. Or maybe bring your hands under your hips and come into a supported bridge. Same deep breaths. And slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. If you're not inverting today, come back into Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together, knees out to the side, right hand to your heart, left hand to your diaphragm. If you would like to invert today, place the hands down by your hips and send the feet up and over and come into plow. Deep breaths wherever you are. You've come back for plow, then slowly roll down, one vertebra at a time. Meet us in Supta Baddha Konasana. Feeling any spots in the body that are still holding on to tension or resistance, and let them go. Once again, using your hands, pull your knees back together. This time, straighten that left leg out, pull the right knee in. Allow the right hand to fall out, hold on to the right knee with the left hand and pull it over the body. Finding those same long inhales and long exhales. Finding that healing, that kindness. Twisting out, bringing out any last worry, stresses. And slowly coming back through center, 
Extend that right leg out. Hold that left knee in with the right hand. Release the left hand. Pull that left knee over the body. Using this as an opportunity to explore the body, to let go of anything that you're still holding on to. <sighs> Release and relax. And slowly coming back through center. Maybe giving yourself one final little hug. And then extending out, reach your fingers up above you, your toes away from you, cross that right thumb over the left, cross the right ankle over the left. And then start to pull your arms and legs away from each other like you're trying to expand out, but you're stuck at the thumbs and ankles. And release. Cross the left thumb over the right, left ankle over the right. Pull, expand, activate like your hips are trying to open. Feel that opening through the low back, through the hips through your shoulders, and release. Uncross the feet, allow the toes to fall away from each other, and bring your hands down by your sides. Tuck one shoulder blade and then the other. Release and relax your jaw, your tongue, your face muscles your fingers and toes. Feel long through the spine, easy with the breath. And start to take note of everything that's happening in your body and your nervous system. Breathe into any spots of the nervous system that are grabbing your attention right now. Allow them to have your breath. Breathe a little deeper into those spots. Feel them expanding, finding extra space. Extra release. Allow the healing, the time, the kindness. Allow yourself to feel heavy. Sinking, melting down. Supported by the earth underneath you. Nothing to think nothing to do, nothing to be. Allow yourself this time of healing, of integration, this time just to breathe, to be kind, patient, and just to be.
slowly find your way back. Invite your breath back in. Listening to your body, you can either stay right here melting down into the earth or start to activate however feels natural, maybe through the fingers and toes, maybe stretching your arms up above you. And deciding to stay here on the earth, or if you would like, roll onto one side or the other, find your way back to that same comfortable seated position. Listening to your body, listening to your breath. Wherever you find yourself, notice if your muscles are sitting a little easier. If your breath is coming a little calmer. If your thoughts seem just a little bit further apart. In kindness, healing seems just a little easier. Take your time, there is no rush. I just want to thank you all for allowing me to guide you. As most of you know, these are all donation-based classes. If you make it here in person, there's a donation station on the way out. For those of you at home, there's a donation button on your screen. We ask that you honor the suggested $15 donation if you are able or leave whatever you can so that we can continue to bring this service to our community and to the world. It's always such a pleasure to guide. Thank you for giving me that trust. May you have a wonderful day, week, month, year, and life. Namaste. Peace be with you.